everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Always a Grind, right? So this movie is about a couple of kids, well, maybe three or four, um, who decide to escape the normal everyday work life and create an adult film, but then something happens and then it gets crazy. I don't know. That's all I know about it. Um, it's an hour and 22 minutes long. It's from 2020. It's 5.0 on IMDb, but only 20, 21 people rated it so far, so it's on Tubi too, so it's free, so that's awesome. So let's get into it, find out what it's about, give you a better idea, let you know what I think. Stick around, I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Always a Grind. Um, no check-in tonight, shorter film, no reason to check in, but I should have probably checked in because I could have corrected what IMDb says this film is about. It's close, but it's not like one um, accident threw everything off. Anyway, it's about a, a couple of friends who are, you know, struggling through life, 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 <laughs> trying to get through the grind, and they come up with this idea to start producing a porno film. And that's how they're going to make it, right? They're going to do everything right. And so they, the three of them get together and they start doing this whole thing. And so it's all like the follies that would go along with them doing that. Now, one of them happens to be in the industry. So he's got a little insight. But the other two do not. One's a waitress. The other guy's, I uh, forget what he does, but uh, a, a, as they say, a, a pencil pusher. Um, you know, working behind the office like most of us. But, uh, <laughs> you know, so they decided to do this. And everything goes along. Now, I will be honest, at first, it was, it's over the top. It is, obviously, if they're trying to make an adult film, you're going to get some of that over the top kind of stuff. Um, so, a lot of that. And there's a lot of, like, jokes around that. And some land, some don't. But I tell you what, when I got to the one part where they were talking about the, the pink room, the bubblegum pink room, it just, it cracked me up. Like, I felt like, um, like they were ad-libbing and it was just coming off and it was working like when they were going back and forth uh, but ultimately that you know that's what the film's about and you know it gets even crazier from that point forward as they're trying to hire people and they're getting people in and then people are after them all that kind of stuff but uh, if you sit back and go into it with the mindset of like this is going to be ridiculous and you know try and see the humor that's in it you might enjoy it. I think it's, uh, you know, not for everybody, but I think for the people who go into it, like at least knowing what I know, you know, what it's about, and the off-color jokes, as they say, I guess that's right, I don't know, um, you might find yourself laughing every now and again. And even I got up, I was running back there, I was like, right when it was over, the credits were coming on, they did something, and I laughed out loud. I was just like, I just laughed out loud at that point. And they have some post-scene credits. Not a lot, there's some little bit of a, like one or two gag reel stuff, but it's worth sticking around for, so if you watch the whole movie and you found it good, you know, I applaud uh, the actors. I thought they did a, a pretty good job. Um, the three main actors, really. I mean, you know, maybe the guy holding the sign. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> for a service that, uh, you know, people need. And, uh, you know, you think about that kind of stuff, and it kind of cracks you up. Um, you know, but there's there's bad acting points throughout it, you know. But, but, but that could have been part of it. There are some funny parts to the bad acting parts anyway. I'm rambling on. Um, so my advice, if you like... I don't know, I think I already said this, so you might find it funny if you check this out. I think I found it funny at a lot of points. But again, you have to wait a little bit. You know, you have to prepare yourself and then go into it. And then when you see it a little bit, you might be, and then just stick it out. You know, you're going to laugh a little bit more and take it for what it's worth. That's what I got for you. Hopefully I'm helpful. I don't know. I'm the 22nd person to review it, and hopefully... Uh, you will laugh as somewhat as much as I did. All right, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.